So how was the show? What are your thoughts on the show? It's interesting in mm -hmm. that Gavi is so multidimensional mm -hmm. that um, I think Michael Holgate was able to capture some very important aspects of the man. There are things that I would have loved to have seen in it, such as Eloise Park. Uh, do you know what that is? Gavi was a performing arts man in Jamaica, and right on Slipe Road, he had a performing arts center. And that is where there was a lot of, uh, there were plays, there were elocution contests, debating contests, because he was a literary and very, very articulate man, very knowledgeable man. So I'd have loved to have seen that. And of course, I think I'd have loved to have seen the interpretation of both his wives uh, captured in there. But uh, uh, in terms of what it did, it brought Garvey to an audience who perhaps may not have known Garvey or know of his work and worth. But as I was saying to the uh, creator of this piece, that there was, and he was saying to me, there are so many aspects and elements and layers of Garvey to do to cover him you'd have to perhaps do a sequel and a sequel and a sequel. Mm -hmm. But it's very important for, from the educational perspective and um, I hope that young people will come to see it. Yeah, so you, you spoke of bringing Gavi to an audience that you know, probably wouldn't have been you know, thinking about Gavi. Do you think that it was effectively done, bridging that gap of bringing the history to the modern day audience? Yes, yeah, so I think the character Scrubs uh, mm -hmm. was that very important element who was not conscious of his history and his blackness and who was Garvey? What did he stand for? What did he mean? And then, of course, the transition when he got it, you know? <laughs> was he going to recognize himself in the mirror now when he mm -hmm. starts reaching kind of a thing? But there are so many subliminal messages because Garvey was a complex man. Garvey was not one of those people who could say, okay, so he did that, and there was a black star line, and he had the Eloise Park, and he went and formed the UNIA. It was, it was just so many things, and so many things playing against him, you know? And some of those things were captured here this evening. Mm -hmm. Not all, but some. Mm -hmm. And finally, how do you think young people can benefit from this production in particular, and productions like this? So this production is the beginning of them going to read and discover who Marcus Garvey is. There's still so much more to discover of Gandhi, to perhaps go into St. Anne's Bay and see that house that still stands where he was born. Um, Benjamin's is right downtown, you know, to go there and just go back in time and but the readings. I have a book, for example, of quotations of Garvey, you know, and also to get beyond the myth of who this man was, like Bedward, Alexander Bedward. There's a lot of myth associated. To get beyond the myth, to find out who the man was, what he represented, what he, re what he represented, how it is that he became who he did. And then I really perhaps, you know what I also missed? What happened? when he died. It was very sad when his obituary was put in the papers before he was there. He read his obituaries by Pat Moore, you know? And um, we need to teach in the schools though. We talk about it, we need to do that. He's our first national hero for crying out loud. How many people, so what is it I want to see? I want to see this moving people to do things. So go to Heroes Park, look at, at his monument, look at the design of that monument. Have you been to Heroes Park? Go look at the design, it's a star the significance of the black, black star line and it's not the black star line no, it's a black star line and look at what he meant his body was brought back to Jamaica you know so uh, productions like these educate inspire enlighten edify open your mind you know that's what I want